Hello, what's the matter, boy? How do you feel today? Oh, I feel fine, thank you. How do you feel, Gabo? Gabo would feel better if he wouldn't have to play Patterson this week. He wouldn't be playing Patterson, dear, if you called Tess at the agent. He has better time for you. Yeah? Why should I call him? Let him call me. They should be glad to get an act like mine. They can't get gobbles every day. Coffee was too hot. If I want anything done right, I gotta do it myself. How are you fixed for steady company? Otto, how often did I tell you not to be so fresh? Okay, chief. How are you fixed for steady company? Otto, now that's enough. I'll put you away. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I will now do the impossible. I will smoke a cigarette and drink water and at the same time use my voice. Somebody ought to knock that guy's block off. Yes, I'd like to do it myself.
How often did I tell you how and when to put the props on the stage? Or are you so stupid that you will never learn? But I did exactly as you told me. You did not. Don't say you did when you did not. But I did. You did not. Did I tell you to drop the tray? No. I won't stand for you talking back to me like this. Who the devil do you think you are, Eddie? But well, I will talk back to you. And I won't stand it any longer. Oh, you won't, huh? Let me tell you something. I'm the greatest living artist in my line in the whole world. And I'm not going to have my act spoiled by you. Your act. Your act. Always your act. Oh, you're a fool. You're so wrapped up in yourself that you're blind to anyone else. It's always you, you, Keep you. Keep quiet. I won't have you saying such things to me. Next time. It's my act. And when it's bad, they blame me. And you're making it bad with your bungy. Whenever the act goes bad, oh, you always blame me for it. Because you're always to blame. The dabbles are at it again, honey. Can you beat him? The poor dame stands for anything. He's always blowing her out. Yeah. He blames her for everything. She seems like a nice dame, too. Oh, that guy is cuckoo. Oh, he must be. He talked to that dummy like it was another person. Yeah, can you beat that? Talking to a dummy. Must be something wrong with his stomach. Stomach nothing. Something wrong with his skull. That guy's got a screw loose, sure. Well, it's none of our business. And I won't stand for it any longer. Oh, you won't? No, I won't. And if you weren't such a helpless fool, I'd leave you so quick it'd make your head swim. Oh? Well, let me tell you something. I don't care when you go, where you go, and the quicker, the better. You do it. Do you mean that? Yes, I mean that. Well? Then I guess I'd better go. And if that's all the appreciation you have for someone who has always tried to do what was right, then you don't deserve consideration. Who asked you for consideration? I don't want anything from you. <laughs> you go. Where could you go? What could you do without me? I'm the act, not you. Everything depends on me. Well, I'm not depending on you any longer. I was getting along all right before I met you. And remember this. I can still sing, and I can still dance. Go, go on. Nobody's stopping you. Why did you stay that long? Oh, I only stayed because... Oh, I don't know why I stay. The only human thing about you is little Otto there. Oh, you think so? I don't think so, I know it. Oh, I've tried hard to understand you, Gobble. But you're impossible. The only sweet things you've ever said to me have come from Otto. I'm quitting the act tonight. I might do better. I know I can't do any worse. <laughs> what could you do without me? <laughs> Go. Go on, get up. What do I care? All right, Gobble. If that's all the two years we've been together mean to you, I'm sorry. See, that guy's been beefing ever since he opened. If you think I'm tough to get along with, you ought to try him. Well, you don't do so bad.
Goodbye, Otto. I'm sorry to leave you, because you're the only thing about him that seems to have a soul. Even though you are only made of wood. And if you're as great as you think you are, why aren't you playing the real theaters? Doing better things. You mind your own business. And go as you said you would. I'll show you, and I'll show them all, whether I'm the great Gobble or not. All right, Gobble. But remember this. If you want to get along, if you want to succeed, forget yourself once in a while. Think of someone else. Give in sometime. And listen, we only take out of this life what we put into it. Goodbye. Porto, if you don't keep quiet, I'll smash you. I'll destroy you so that you never make another sound. Do I want to listen to you? No. I need no one. What can she do without me? Me. Gobble. She'll be sorry when she sees my name in blazing lights. The Great Gobble. The Great Gobble. It says here that Foley and Mandel are gonna split, honey. Yeah? Well, I know another act that's gonna split if we don't get some work to. Yeah, you said it. By the time we get a date, we won't even remember the act. Well, you'll never get work laying on that bed all day, I can tell you that. Oh, will you stop? I'm doing the best I can. Yeah, and that's terrible. You don't try. Did you see in the variety where that guy Gabble was a hit in the Manhattan Review? Yeah, can you beat the... It's not so long ago we played with him in Patterson. That was the act that split. Yeah, he got wise. He worked alone. I could do a great single myself. But that guy was cuckoo. Cuckoo? Well... I wish you'd get as cuckoo as he is. He's on Broadway, I'll say that for him. Oh, you've been handing me that line ever since this gabble got in a big show. Here, here. Well, how can I help it if they fall off? Gabble was a flop in Patterson. We was a hit. Yeah, in Patterson. But he's making good in New York. Try that on your piccolo. Well, so would I a break like that. Didn't have a dame razzing me all day. Try <laughs> that on your elbow. You'll never get the first base. You gotta have class. Say, we got a chance now we're laying off. Let's go and see this guy gavel. You might learn something. All right, all right. I want to get a lo load of this guy gavel. Maybe, but don't think that he can learn me anything. Never mind. My men will attend to everything.
coolest little thing you ever saw? Which one? The man or the dummy? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but tell me, Bob, what's the idea? Why, that's the great Gabo. He's the star of the Manhattan Review. He comes here every night with that dummy. I think it's sort of a publicity gag. Oh, the great Gabo, eh? Well, he certainly gets plenty of service. But they tell me he's great. He is, but he's a little, uh, screwy. Why, he talks to that thing and takes it seriously. Look at him. <laughs> I think he is, too. Yeah. Oh, I think he's marvelous. Now, it's the squabs with the sherry wines. Oh, yes. I hope they are well cooked. I don't care for myself, but Mr. Gabo is very particular. May I preface? Mushroom salad, espanol. Oh, yes. The truffles. The beautiful truffles. Isn't he the cutest thing? Seems uncanny the way he works that dummy. Almost seems to sound as though it were human. Yeah. <laughs> He'd make a perfect husband. Uh, speaks only when you pull the strings. <laughs> <laughs> All husbands should be like that, darling. What? Oh. <laughs> like that. No. Well, there's our big star over there. Showing off again. You know, it's a wonder he doesn't get wise to himself and do his act in the theater. But that's part of his contract. Personally, I think it's great publicity. Oh, that fellow loves to do it. He doesn't think much of himself. No, it's a mistake. But you don't understand him. You know, sometimes I actually pity him. You pity him? <laughs> that is funny. There's a man completely satisfied with himself. Of all the egotistical fools I've ever seen, he is the worst. But I know him better than you do. Well, you must admit he is great, even though he does say so himself. Poor soul. Boy, you're too much for me. Come on, are you ready? I'd like to sit here and finish my coffee, dear. I don't go on until almost nine. You don't mind, do you? All right, dear. I'll trot over the thinner. Now, don't you waste any sympathy on that swell-headed nut gavel. Okay. Bye. Bye. Everything all right, sir? Oh, yes. Everything is great. Thank you. Except that the scrub should have been shot years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Everything else okay? Oh, yes. Only the truffles. A little like leather. And the caviar. Let's not mention it. Outside of that, the dinner was good. But the cafe was terrible. Ooh, quite a crowd tonight. Yes, sir. And I think they all came to see you. I have a request for a song from a party over there. Would you oblige? Oh, anything for the ladies. Tell the leader I sing my lollipop song. Play the lollipop song. I thought the spin the gentle kind kept my temper well. But there is something on my mind I simply had to tell. There may be certain ones who shot you just a dumb half it. But my mind's made up about one thing and this is it. Ooh, I'd rather suck on a lemon drop than to tie my lock with a lollipop. Cause I always drop my lollipop and it gets all over icky. Ooh, it makes me sick with the way it smears. How the stuff will stick in your hair and ears. With the lemon bean, I'm always clean. But the lollipop, ooh, icky. I've tried and tried, but never could find a lollipop but even half very fine. So I'd rather suck on a lemon drop than to try my luck with lollipop. Because I always drop my lollipop, but it gets all over icky. For you, sir. Thank you. Oh, I want to whisper to you. Tell the beautiful lady in the gray dress to come over and have some cafe and tell the orchestra to play I'm in love with you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
No, thank you, Otto. I just had my coffee. Gobble. Caviar and lobster. You know what the doctor said about that. Can't compromise you. Oh, you're such a child. He forgets, Mary. But you used to remind him. You used to do so much for me, too. No one ever combed my hair like you. No one. Yes. Walter misses you very much, Marie. We were very, very happy that we met you in this show again with us. And I think Walter would like to have you do these things again for him. Comb his hair and fix his tie, wouldn't you? Yes, Mary. I would love that. Will you come to see me sometime in my dressing room? Well, maybe I will, but I won't promise. Gabo. It's getting late. I'm afraid you'd better go to the theater. Holy smoke. It is late. Come on, Mary. You come with us. We ride in our little Rolls Royce. We'd love to have you with us. We have everything now, Mary. Nice places to live and everything. I think I could fix it with Gabo, if you would come. Be careful. <laughs> Terrible. Would you go with me? Yes, I'd be glad to, Dummy. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Did you drive to the theater with him? Certainly. There's no harm in that, is there? No, but I don't like it. I don't want you to be seen with that swell-headed nut. Kissing your hand, bowing down, clicking his heels, and all that foreign baloney. <laughs> well, he's clever enough to be the star of the show. I'll say that much for him. Yeah, well, I don't care what he is. I don't want you to have anything to do with it. Don't be silly. He's all right. Yeah, well, I don't think so. Well, did he send these two? Mm-hmm. Oh, for the love of Mike. Yabble, Yabble. You don't see me running around with other girls, do you? Mary, I tell you, it's all wrong. Don't get excited over nothing, Frank. He merely drove me over in his Rolls Royce. I thought it was very nice of him. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't. <laughs> Probably not. But maybe I like Rolls Royces. He asked me to go to supper with him tonight. Well, you're not going, are you? Oh, I don't know. I haven't given him an answer yet. Well, I'll give him his answer for you. And the answer is you're not going. Don't get excited, Frank. Go to your dressing room and get ready for your next number. Tell me, are you going or not? I tell you, Frank, you'll be late. You'd better run along. Oh, all right, but you better not go with him, and that's all there is to it. Ta-da! Oh, I suppose, Louis, you have a sweetheart, haven't you? We all must have romance. 
Ich bitte um Entschuldigung, Herr Gabo, ich habe Sie nicht verstanden. Sie haben doch eine kleine Freundin, nicht wahr? Jawohl. Und sie ist ein sehr liebes Mädel. Mhm. Merken Sie sich die Hauptsache, Louis, in einer Liebesangelegenheit. Sie müssen sehr lieb und sehr gut zu ihr sein. Immer. Verstehen Jawohl, Sie? Herr Gabo. Aber ich habe sehr wenig Zeit für Sie. That's just it. Sie müssen sich ihr widmen, Tag und Nacht. Ich weiß, wie es ist. We only get out of life what we put into it. Bitte? Das Leben gibt uns nur, was wir dem Leben geben. Verstehen Sie? Jawohl, ich verstehe. Natürlich. Ja. Wissen Sie, Louis, ich sage noch was. Nehmen Sie diese paar Dollar und nehmen Sie Ihre kleine Freundin heute Abend irgendwo hin. Unterhalten Sie sich gut und sind Sie lieb und gut zu ihr. Verstehen Sie? I don't care, I'm not ready yet. I'll come there as soon as I can. Tell them to play it over and over and over and over again. It's all your fault. I'm supposed to be on the stage and you're still putting my shoes on. Who ever told you you were a dresser? Yes. Kate. Sick and tired of it. Oh, I don't put it on. I don't want to ever see you again. Oh, Louis. Where are you going? I'm going home, madame. Mr. Garbo is too much for me to handle. Oh, please don't go, Louis. I know that he's awfully hard to understand, but please be patient with him. You know, he's awfully nervous. Oh, yes, he's fine if he thinks he's Otto. <laughs> yes, I know. But don't go, please. Well, I will stay, madame. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> I have the privilege to appear before you in what I might call, with all due modesty, the greatest ventriloquial ex exhibition of all times. I've had the great honor to appear before all crowned heads of Europe by royal command. May I present to you Otto, the famous Otto, my other half. Half? How you get like this? Three quarters, you mean? You're entirely too modest, Otto. Well, I'm right. I'm the act, not you. Everything depends on me. Uh, by the way, Otto, why were you late today? I went to the dentist. Oh. Does the tooth still hurt? I don't know. He didn't give it back to me. Ha, ha, ha. How comical. Uh, Otto, how is your little baby brother? Oh, he makes me so mad. He cries and cries and cries. You know, Otto, I think that child is absolutely spoiled. Oh, no. They all smell that way. Otto? Little boys should be seen, but not heard. You better keep quiet. I will if you let me. A song written for me is special. I get by, 
as long as I have you. Ooh, what a wise crack. Hello, what nationality are you? My nationality? Ooh, we have a fine family tree. My mother, she come from Cedar Hill. My father was a Pole, and I'm a chip from the old block. Marvelous. Should make screams of laughter of what has you. <laughs> How do you do, madame? Is that your husband or your boyfriend? <laughs> oh no. How often did I tell you not to be so fresh? I don't let that happen again. Oh, he blames me for everything he blames me. Just for that now, you can't sit any longer on my knee. Suits me all right. I have sit on much better knee. All I want out of you is silence. And very little of that. Oh, yeah. If I keep quiet, we both starve to death. Put that on your smoke and pipe it. You keep quiet, and I won't tell you again about it. So it's me. You're the He used to swallow a tablecloth. Hello, kid. How well you fix post daddy company? <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. If I were you, I'd keep quiet. All right. Shut up. What's that? Well, you said if you were me, you'd keep quiet. So shut up. You air me. Ooh, the kid's clever. So it rains so slow, so the hair so slow, so the cut by fell so more. Ha, 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 I'm laughing. Though I own the rent, when my dough's so spent, when my desk is set so low. Ha, 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 I'm laughing. Every little rain cloud makes the grass more green. For every lap I've done my song, you get me back with the belts all bent and forget this little song. Ha, 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 I could hide some hot dogs without any trouble. You said I was you. So I'm eating enough for both of us. Well then, I hope I have a thing in your stomach. What are you doing in his dressing room? 
Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. I was just passing by and everything looked so upset I thought I'd straighten things up a little. What for? Why should you bother about him? What's the big idea, Mary? Oh, nothing. You wouldn't understand it. Oh, wouldn't I? I guess you think I'm a boo. I suppose you're going to tell me that you're still sorry for him. I don't believe I'll tell you anything at all. Well, I'll tell him something if he doesn't stay away from you. Oh, don't say anything. On me. stage, for I'm in love with you, number. On stage, please. On stage. They ought to let the great gabble do that number. Oh, don't be silly. did it, don't you? She did it. You remember, Otto? How she used to fix things and arrange them for us? Well, she's doing them for us again. Look. hot and not too cold. Just right. She was always right. Maybe she is coming back with us again. Maybe. <laughs> I'm positive of it. You know, Otto, what she tried to do was this. She tried to show me that she could do something without me. <laughs> but now she wants to come back. I told you, they all come back. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm laughing. Yes, Otto. Now we can laugh. Everything is going to be beautiful. Well, now you know how I feel about it anyway. I wish you'd try and control yourself. Yeah, and another thing. He never stood in the wings before, and he never helped you down. You must have given him plenty of encouragement. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, I'm not ridiculous. Everyone in the company sees how you're acting. Do you think I care if every one of them see me? I'm not doing any harm. What difference does it make? Oh, I know. But it looks bad. What looks bad? Just because I'm seen talking to the star of the show? There isn't one of them that wouldn't be glad if he'd even speak to them. Besides, there's a sweet side to him that none of them understand. Uh, and you do? Yes, I do. Yeah, now I'll tell one. Did you hear that? They're already quarreling over me. Of course. Why would she want to stick with him when she has a chance to come back with Gabo? You will see. We'll all be together again. Oh, we are sitting on top of the build. Yes, Otto. We are sitting on top of the world. Hello. Hello. Is this Philip? Yeah, this is Gabo. Yeah, he gets. Listen, Philip. I want you to fix a little dinner for three, for after the show. No, no, not downstairs, no. In one of the little private rooms upstairs. Mm-hmm. Uh, there will be 
myself and uh, Otto and uh, a lady. Uh-huh. Yeah, the same one you saw at dinner. Yeah. Listen, Philip. I want beautiful flowers and uh, candles. She loves that. And uh, I want you to arrange everything personally. You understand? Everything must be of the very best. Well, I'd say hors d'oeuvre and uh, some caviar. Not for me, but she likes it. You know, Otto? She remembered that caviar and lobster does not agree with me. Uh, and Philip, uh, boneless squab cooked in in coconut. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. With uh, hearts of palm tree salad, a la vinaigrette. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And listen, Philip. A bottle of uh, Veuve Clicquot Extra Dry. Very cold. Uh -huh. uh, I'll leave it all to you, Philip. Well, about, uh, oh, about quarter of twelve. Yeah. All right. You got everything. All right, I'll feed us in. We'll settle this thing right now and save a lot of trouble.
don't be silly. Nobody in the show knows about it. was all scratched. I think you've been neglected. You are the sweetest girl that I know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Marie, did you find the flowers in the dressing room? Oh, Gobble, they were beautiful. Why don't you ask me what the flowers are for? All right, Mr. Bone. What are the flowers for? It's sort of an anniversary. Oh? It's just two years today that you've left us. And it's Two years too long. Marie, looks very natural to find you in here, combing Otto's hair and fixing him up so nice. His little nose was all scratched and his hair was all mussed. He looked kind of lonesome. Yes, but he doesn't know how it feels to be lonesome. I know how it feels to be alone and to be lonesome. That doesn't sound at all like you, Gabo. <laughs> I know it doesn't. But things are different now. I've changed, too. We all make mistakes, and the Lord knows I've made mine. But I realized it. I never knew how much you meant to us until you had gone away. Marie, we've missed you very much. Did you miss us too? I missed Otto. Only Otto? Did 
Didn't you miss anyone else? I know you missed Otto, because he, he always said nice things to you. Yes. Otto was always sweet. Marie, two years ago, that night when you left us, you said to me, we only get out of life what we put into it. No one knows that now better than I do. I know I was selfish, but I was anxious to get to the top, and I did. Now, I am the great Gabo. I have my success. Uh-oh. Better not wood. <laughs> oh, that's all foolishness. Knocking on wood and going on the ladders and black cats crossing. You make your own bad luck. <laughs> yes, I had my success. But what good is success if you can't share it with someone you care for? And that's what I want to do. Marie, I have arranged a little supper over at Phillips after the show. Just myself and and you, and Otto. I want to tell you all the things that have been on my mind since that night you left. I'm afraid I can't go, Rabbi. I have other plans. Don't you think that I have made plans too? Big plans? Plans for the future? Plans for both of us? It will be the great Gabo, and, and you. But that's impossible, Gabo. You can't make any plans concerning me. Oh, I should have told you before. Oh, that boy. <laughs> he means nothing. Yes, he does. He means everything to me. We're married. Married? You're not! I am! I said he means everything to me. And I mean everything. He loves me. And I love him. That's all there is to it. Oh, I'm sorry, Gabo. It's almost time for a finale. You'd better hurry. Don't hurt your little nose again, or... I love you. I always have. And I think I always will. Otto, did you hear that? She is married. She loves him. He means everything to her. She said, I'm sorry, Gabo. Sorry for me? Sorry for Gabo? Well, I told him. What did he say? There was very little to be said. I told him we were married, and that I love you. And I do. 
You know, the reason I didn't tell him before is because two years ago we... I know all about that. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. And that's why I... I wanted him to know we're married. I thought it was best that way, dear, don't you? Oh, it was the only thing to do. You know, Frank, I don't think I knew my own mind. It's only fair to tell you that... Well, I married you to get away from him. Oh, I didn't even know I loved you when we were married. But I know it now. Honest, I do. I haven't been very sweet to you tonight. But if you'll be willing to forget about it and forgive me, you won't be sorry. Honest, you won't. Will you try? I think you're all right, Mary. And if you don't stop this, you'll have me so choked up I won't be able to sing. <laughs> beat it, beat it, honey. Beat it before I start doing a mammy number. <laughs> <laughs> But they can't have a finale without me, can they? No! Let them wait! Let them play it over and over and over again! The public can wait! I don't care! They must wait! For the great gobble! On stage for the finale! On stage for the finale! Go on with your finale! What do I care? She loves me. She didn't even say goodbye to me. Only to you! You little silly wooden dummy, you! You!
realize what you've done, Gabo. You've ruined the entire finale. And you won't do it again. I won't have my show ruined by you. You've got to get out. Every performance is something else. What do I care for you? Or your show? Huh? Nothing. I'll quit. Otto. <laughs> He thinks he's gonna have a show without Gabo. <laughs> I'm glad. Take care of him, Louis. Don't leave him alone. Yes, madame, I will take care of him. Don't worry. That's a great gamble for you. Crap the entire finale. Did you ever see anyone act as loony as that guy? Yeah, there certainly was something wrong. Something wrong? I'll say there was something wrong. And you thought he could learn me something. I That guy was goofy long ago. Broadway was too much for him. It went to his head and it exploded. Yeah, well, he's got one thing to be thankful for. All he's got for a partner is a dummy. <laughs> me and him both. Ow! Lay off that rough stuff, will you? Say, don't you call me no dummy, or you'll get a chance to do that single you've been talking so much about. 